Hello everyone, welcome back to another plugin showcase. This time I'm going to showcase my plugin Quick Market. It's very, very new because I haven't released it yet. I'm about to release it in, I don't know, an hour or so. Uh, but first I had to have to write the description and everything. Anyway, uh, this plugin is about player shops. It's everything about player shops. You can also create admin shops, however, it's mainly designed for player shops. So, as you can see, I have already some shops set up because I'm playing currently playing on my server. The uh, IP will probably be in the description, but it's 10 a.m., so no one is online, as you can see. Anyway, I will just start with this shop creation. It's very, very easy and user-friendly, in my opinion. So you just place a sign on a chest or a trap chest, both work, and you write shop in these brackets. Then you write the amount, then the price, then the tile, either buy or sell. Uh, in this case I'm going to sell, set up, set up sell shop. And you can see there's a, a gold nugget floating there saying click the sign. So if I want to sell darker oak wood, I just click the sign and click this item which says change the item to the item held in your hand and if i click this you can see it now sells dark oak wood and this plugin by the way requires 1.8 so you have these floating name tags it won't work in 1.7 uh, so make sure to use 1.8 so here i can also change the type from sell to buy and the amount on a sell shop is not one, it's always all. So if you know a plugin quick sell, you know what sell all shops are. And the item just disappeared. Oh, this is a bug, I will fix that in a minute. Um, it won't happen in the released version, so don't worry about it. And if you know my plugin quick sell, you know what sell all signs are. And you can just uh, have lots of dark oak wood in here, you click the sign and it will immediately sell everything in your inventory, uh, which is dark oak wood, uh, to this shop until the chest is full. However, you can also, if you're an admin and if you have a correct permission for this, change this to an admin job. Uh, then the items sold to this will not go into the chest, so the chest is never going to be full and it also doesn't take money from you. So it's a completely, how do you call it, a separately operating shop, I guess. And yeah, you can do it if you're an admin. You can also disable or enable the shop using this. If it's disabled, no one can sell to this. And what's really cool Whoops, I just half a price uh, accidentally. Uh, you can also do this with a schedule. So currently it's 1 a.m. Uh, server time because my server is not in the same time zone as I am. So you can make it uh, be disabled at 1, be disabled at 2, 3, 4, and at 6 o'clock. And from then it will be enabled. So if you're not playing at on the server for a while you can just disable it at certain times so your chest is not getting too spammy i don't know i thought this was a useful feature i can see using this i don't know if you can see this but there's also a piston as you can see here a miniature piston which says usage you can also see how many times your shop has been used currently zero times because we only set it up but if we uh, look at this shop, I think this one has uh, been used a lot. Oh my god. Is that 1.5 million? Dear lord. Anyway, um, you can also change the price in here. So there are 9 gold ingots, 1 for plus 0 0.1 and plus 1, and same with minus. Then 10 and 100, 1000 and 10,000. 100,000 million, 10 million, 100 million, etc. until 10 quadrillion. <laughs> I think that's enough. 
Anyway, that's it from the shop owner side of the plugin. The seller or buyer side is kind of uninteresting, so I'm not going to go into it. It's basically just clicking a sign and you sell all your stuff or you buy something. Pretty self-explanatory. So, one other thing you can do is if you have Prison Utils installed, you can use Prison Utils backpacks to sell to these sellers and they do work with it. So, there's lots you can do, you can play around with it. It's also clear lag safe, so these items will not be cleared by clear lag. And, I don't know, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, you cannot destroy a shop, so if you break a chest or a sign which belongs to a shop, it's not going to work. You have to click the delete shop button and it's going to delete the item, delete the shop's instant instance and it's going to pop up the sign. Anyway, that's pretty much it for it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the plugins page, which will be linked once I uploaded it. So, I don't know. See you next time.